mg90 air compressor instruction manual which i am going to explain how we can read the manual what are all the data which we can get from this manual and how we need to refer the manual that is what uh, i would like to show in this video so this is the first page of this uh, compressor always in the first page they will be having the makers uh, address so you can see the makers uh, address and everything this one this uh, address particularly you use when you are uh, giving any uh, uh, requisition for any spares of this particular compressor so next thing always safety comes first so all the safety related aspects will be covered will be given in this page so for uh, compressor it there will be safety related to uh, general and when you handle high pressure pipes and when you handle rotating parts of the compressor and when you handle motor and starters of that particular com compressor basically they always say the precautions that you need to do that you need to take before handling any maintenance work in any part of the compressor like a rotational body like uh, if you are doing anything with electrical parts like uh, motor starters or else if you are doing any work with uh, high pressure pipes or general safety that they, they will be highlighting in this part so next is uh, this is the you can see here this is the model so mg64 mg78 mg90 mg95 a so in our case we have this mg64 a so all this round round you can see all this related to mg64 so mg64 have cylinder cylinder cover low pressure air piping high pressure valve cover and non return valve the one which don't have the zero mark that means that part is not added in this mg64 a suppose mg90 a have cylinder cylinder cover lp cooling apart from lp air piping all the parts are there in mg90 a for the other three models there are only limited parts so that is how that is what they mentioned in this tabular column so next is uh, this is the main thing this is very important thing that you need to know when uh, you are reading the minor compressor manual particularly all the nut and tightening torque for this compressor so always uh, what happens is uh, in most of the air compressor they will give you the nut size and give the torquing tight so for this mg64 a model clamping nut is m8 and the torquing tight kgf centimeter and newton meter so both they had given for the high pressure valve it's m6 bolt m6 nut and again 65.9 this is for the tightening torque so this is how you have to read the tightening torque and based on this value only you have to keep the tightening torque for the lp and hp valves so next part is so this is the content of the manual you can see general precaution caution before and starting caution during operation caution at stopping disassembly reassembly so we'll see all the parts lubricants troubleshooting overheat and all those things so for that first we go this manual contains 25 pages so i uh, see this is the general general means it gives the entire model number of the particular air compressor which is provided on board suppose for this it is mg90 adt what is the type of driven method is it direct driven what is the type it is vertical two stage air cooled model is mg90 lp cylinder in a dia 100 so all those stroke length revolution piston displacement pressure power everything everything will be given in this so you can see the uh, suffix of design number so mg 90 a mg is model number and the other thing is driven method and revolution so mg 90 a the next star will be you can see in the number plate that i can show you later so next is the structural part this is how means they generally give how the structure is made and function of each, each part 
suppose uh, in the main body it is showing uh, this is vertical two stage compressor air cooling type compressor designed to normal pressure three bar all those things you will get into in this page so and also all the parts for if the compressor is having all parts you can uh, all compressor parts and its function will be described here so lp and hp valve h pipe pressure safety valve oil gauge so oil gauge precaution on installation this part uh, uh, this will be during the dry docking dry docking means when the ship is in the building stage so when they are commissioning so this part is be used and uh, next this is pre checking but that means before starting before after commissioning is done means after installation is done during commissioning they will follow this page and uh, next thing is yeah after starting what all things you need to do cautions during operation while it is running what are all the things that we need to do that you can check here and uh, how much oil the uh, the compressor consumes so check oil consumption four to five running hours after running in as well as each starting for oil amount refer page number eight for lubricants so that will go there so this is all in case of long drain open the drain wall to discharge drain just before stopping so this is how we need to disassemble disassembling procedure everything is given you have to follow the procedure if you have any doubt just follow the procedure you can be in it and next is disassembly is done next how to take out the cylinder remove the fan pulley so generally uh, in this area you can uh, see the maintenance part how to remove the piston how to reassemble the piston uh, so how to place the piston at the right position so all those things they had given and uh, the main thing is when you are uh, looking into compressor part they don't give any drawing for explaining the explaining the maintenance part so just you have to be very clear of your understanding so this is your uh, bump clearance what we usually say ideal valve connection should not separate when the valve is calmly vertically in a dry question suction valve lp reassembly all those things this is valve lift which we call usually then uh, this is all assembly picture and all the clearance between the crank pin and crank pin metals will be given and again torque for that particular uh, equipment part is given so lubricating oil so this is what are the lubricating oil if you have doubt which oil you want to use just go in this page and you can uh, check what are all the oil that is recommended by the maker to use and uh, again how much initial how much you have to fill replenishing how much you have to add so approximately 1.1 liter and 0.5 liter topping up so next comes the troubleshooting so troubleshooting will be like this why air leaking what to do damage of the damage of the valve what to do clog of air inlet what to do so all those things you will get into understand when you see the manual only if you get abnormal sound what you need to do and uh, so standard clearance again when you have knocking or uh, gonging sound is heard what is the problem so all those things they will be giving you some idea and if it happens to overheat what are all the things you need to do overheat means if the entire compressor is hot or heat generation in case of proper cooling fan flow rate heated v pulley so each and everything they will be giving given in this manual so again for stopping operation starting operation about magnetic switch magnetic valve pressure switch so they discuss each and everything in this so this one gives the basic idea about the operation of the valve so compressor compressor run motor 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 is getting supply from here compressor and after drain is going and you can see magnetic valve here time on relay pressure switch and it goes to the air receiver this is how it gives the uh, schematic of how the functions you can see the flow sheet of automatic operation of this particular compressor so that's all again next maintenance interval how you know the maintenance what time you have to do the oil change what time you have to check the piston what time so here you can find that lubricants 
so every day you have to check the quantity zero means you have to check every day you have to check the quantity of oil every 200 hours or three months you have to change the oil then comes to piston directly after 2000 hours change and replace and cleaning after 1000 hours so this is how you can plan your maintenance schedule for this particular compressor so next comes the structural drawing of air compressor so this is the structural drawing of the air compressor so third angle projection you just uh, if you want to order something take the if uh, if i want to order say what is this number 30 so what is number 30 here i can go and here i see 30 is crankcase cover number two so if i order something 30 will be the number if this is the part number this is the this is your uh, uh, description of the part and this is fc200 model and quantity number one so this is how you have to order fc200 is a material used for this crankcase cover so that's all this is the lp low pressure valve assembly drawing and this is the hp suction valve assembly drawing and that's all this is how you have to get information from the manual i believe this video must have given you some idea about how to read manual of air compressor keep supporting